So we're here at the ID Tech Hack show uh, here in Berlin. And who are you? Hi, I'm Inge Wirth from uh, Fraunhofer Institute in uh, Bremen. And I'm a project manager and responsible for integration of uh, functions uh, in parts and components. And uh, who are you? Hi, my name is Volker Zollmer. I'm also from Fraunhofer IFAM in Bremen. And uh, I'm responsible for the department of smart systems. And we work on printed electronics and 3D printing. So there's, uh, there's a lot of different Fraunhofer's, right? Which one is the uh, IFAM? Well, IFAM is the Institute for Manufacturing Technology and Advanced Materials. We are located in Bremen, in the north and west of Germany. And you're absolutely right, there are also lots of other colleagues here from the Fraunhofer Society. But is this the one that's the most, like, print electronics kind of, uh, or there's other also? Well, uh, each uh, Fraunhofer Institute has a special core competence. Our core competence are materials and process development. And other institutes uh, focus a bit more on product development, for example, or uh, on electronic devices. And uh, therefore, we have different institutes here. So what are you showing here, for example? What is this? Yeah. You see, this is a carbon reinforced uh, structure. You see, this is uh, printed here. This is a silver conductive line. And it's integrated here in the part. And you can see that the electric current is going here. And you see the lamp is, uh, is on it. And it's integrated in the structure. This is uh, very cool for bicycles, but also yeah. for airplanes or everything. Yeah. You yes. want to integrate yeah. Yeah. the cables. Is it a big deal? Yeah. It, it, it is not, not, not only for bicycles, this is only to show it that this is possible for bicycles, but we can integrate structures in any uh, components and parts. For example, most in automotive uh, and also for, for airplanes, aircraft, uh, a lot a lot. I think lot there was a keynote, they were talking about this, right? The Airbus, exactly. they yes. want to reduce the cables. Yes. yes. Yeah. How much is it, 10% of the airplane is cables? Or well, I think uh, if if we uh, really integrate this technology in the plane manufacturer, you will be able to uh, save much more weight. No? Yeah. But um, it's not only to reduce the weight, it's also to reduce the maintenance um, working with wires and uh, integrating wires in an airplane. It could be much easier to use printed electronics. Yeah. And, and that's the reason why we integrate uh, sensors in, in the airplane. For example, here you see this is a, a joystick sensor. And, and you see when I can when I move my hand in different uh, positions and you see a signal here. And this can be yeah, translated uh, into, a, into a signal, for example, moving something up or moving something down. So uh, this, is this printed electronics sensor here? Yes. Is this uh, on glass or what? What do you do here? On plastic? Yes, yeah, this is here on, on plastic, but it can be also on glass. It is, uh, it is uh, flexible on this, very flexible. So this whole uh, pattern here, is that what makes the sensor or? Yes, yeah. We have, this is a silver structure. This is, uh, and we, this is a kind of capacitive uh, sensor. And uh, so the sensor detects where my hand is, and then the signal is, uh, is detected here. Is this a very big deal? Like, uh, nobody's doing this? Or uh, are you the cutting edge of this tech kind of technology? Yes, we get last, uh, last year we, we got the ID Tech X, uh, award for, for this technology. Uh, so yeah. is it mass production? It is individual production. Individual in, production. Individual, yeah. So, um, um, and so is it a big challenge for you to get all this cool stuff into the mass production? Is it how you, you work also? Yeah, that is exactly what we do uh, at Fraunhofer in special, that we develop basic uh, new technologies that are later on transferred to uh, in industry parties for large-scale productions, for uh, product development, and at the end of the day to earn money. And uh, what is this one here? Yeah. Here, yeah. here you can see uh, this is an uh, RFID structure. Uh, and. Um, you, you can measure here uh, the signal, and uh, there's a ship here, and um, you can uh, write on the ship, and you can also uh, read the signal out of the ship. This is kind of NFC communication. So huh? is this a special way to do it? Or there's a lot of uh, RFID tags, right? Mm -hmm. So what's special about this one? This is, we can, we can adapt it to a specific application. Uh, this, this is a very, very small structure. And uh, yeah, this is, we, the antenna structure is here printed, but we can also... On plastic? Uh, 
This is uh, almost hair material. On what? And, uh, kind of, it's a special material. Okay. Kind, kind, uh, kind of almost hair material. It's a Fraunhofer material. Oh yeah. And uh, what is this? Well, this is a <clears throat> typical 3D printable filament. Um, whenever, whenever you uh, read something about 3D printing, you will often find the uh, FDM printing technology. Uh, this is a plastic-based material, a thermoplastic-based material, and uh, we developed a special process to fill thermoplastic materials with carbon fillers. So at the end of the day here, we have a very flexible 3D printable material having a very high electrical and also having a very high conductive um, conductivity. And uh, what we can do with this kind of material, we can 3D print heat exchanger, for example. And uh, we can print 3D parts to be used for electromagnetic shielding as another uh, application. So um, you, can, you can 3D print something that's conductive? Yes. And is this a big deal? That is, a, uh, a, a, that is indeed a big deal. So we have a lot of requests from very different uh, branches, very different industries uh, to uh, that kind of material because uh, actually you can print on the one hand thermoplastic materials or you can print full metal materials and now we have the possibility to print composite materials combining the best properties of uh, both worlds. So you could in one go you can print uh, the stuff that's conductive and the stuff that's anti-conductive, right? Exactly. So, so then you print the whole thing? Yes, that's uh, our aim. But uh, how far is this? Well, it's not, uh, as you can see here, from our very first uh, demonstrator. This is two different prints, right? Two. These are two different prints, yes, that's right. But uh, you will find today on the market already uh, print, print, printing solutions being able to print several materials in one and the same step. So uh, with our materials, you can really create new products based on technologies that are already established on the market. But what's the resolution and how long time does it take? Because if it takes like five hours to make a little thing, it would be an issue, right? Do you want to make it well, fast or...? Yeah, we would like to, to, uh, to enhance the speed of the process, also uh, by um, enhancing our material. And uh, for sure, it's always important to print as fast as possible. Nice. And what, is it, what are you talking about here on the screen? Is this showing some uh, processes you have? Uh, we stand there. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yes, uh, we, we show here different processes. What we see here, this is uh, inkjet printing process. Yeah, uh, this is a gestic sensor structure which is printed here uh, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the printer. And then you have different demos here. You have 3D screen printing, direct yes. write. Yes, correct. So you do a lot of yeah, we, 3D printing. Yes, we have uh, nearly every technology available at our institute, which is, uh, uh, which is common. We have aerosol jet printing, we have inkjet printing, we have dispensing technology, screen printing, pet printing. And we uh, can also can combine these technologies uh, to each other. And uh, what is what is also uh, possible that we uh, um, that we can use a robot system uh, to to print on larger parts and components. Is this what it is? Um, There's a robot there. This is, this is also a robot. What you see as here at the moment that this uh, structures is are transferred into different uh, printing stations because each technology has advantages and disadvantages. And to combine uh, the advantages of uh, the printing technologies, we, you, we can transfer parts and we can nice. ma make a, a kind of small uh, production. Huh? And what is this? Yeah. Is this showing something? Yes. You see here they are printed uh, conductive lines. Yeah, you see here this is a uh, little uh, uh, LED, uh, and uh, and you see there are the the signal lines, as uh, a smaller one, and the, these are the uh, power lines, and these are they're also printed. This nice. is by dispensing and by aerosol jet printing. And the uh, conductivity is exactly the same as any other cable. Yeah. Ne nearly the same. It is. It, it depends on the on the process and on the filling weight of the of the material. Um, but uh, normally it is uh, it is it is not so good as a, as a cable, but in the range. You show some uh, 3D printing stuff here. A couple other examples, right? Uh, some different things here, like uh, uh, just to demonstrate your skills. Yes. Like uh, precisions and stuff. 
Yes, yeah, we, we are showing what, what is possible and what, what products we can, we, we, we can uh, print and uh, where we can integrate sensors. Uh, for example, we integrate uh, temperature sensors in, in parts, we integrate uh, strain gauges, humidity sensors, pressure sensors. Uh, so, so a lot of uh, possibilities to integrate uh, sensors in parts and components. Is the EFAM uh, connected with the specific university or is it just a separate uh, institute? We are uh, separate, but we are in close uh, cooperation with the University of Bremen because the head of our institute, uh, uh, Professor Matthias Busse, has also, uh, uh, is also at, uh, at the University of uh, Bremen. Is there a lot of students working on this or a lot of people? Uh, how big is, is this? Yes, uh, uh, our, our institute is a larger institute from the Fraunhofer Society. Uh, and we are about 700 employees and we also have uh, a lot of students uh, working at our institute make their uh, PhD or make a bachelor and master. Nice. What do you think about the ID Tech Action? Ah, it's fascinating and it's very yeah. good uh, to, to come in close contact uh, to, to the other uh, people dealing, dealing with uh, uh, printed electronics and uh, to, to talk to our customers. This is your field, right? Yes, it's, it's indeed. This, this is, is my field. Right there. Cool. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome.